Hey guys, Seth with Skynet Drone Systems. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be going over how to install ATAC or TAC along with the UAS plugin into the DJI RC Pro to use with the M3T aircraft. If you don't have this specific controller and aircraft, this tutorial is gonna give you the knowledge and the resources to be able to locate and download the software and get these systems up and running. Once we have everything installed, we're gonna take the aircraft up for a quick flight just to show you what the UAS plugin looks like and operates like inside the ATAC ecosystem. So stay tuned. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to tac.gov and then click create an account. Then we're gonna scroll over to enter our email address and then down to the register tab. In the next menu, we're gonna select yes, and that's going to send a verification to your email account. You're going to open up your email, find the email from ATAC, select verify, go back into ATAC, select verify, then over to continue, down to public user, and then next. In the next menu, you're going to put in all of your personal information, select a password, and then click submit. Then we're going to click login. That's going to take us to a screen where we're going to enter our email along with our password. Now to use the ATAC website, we're going to need to do a two-step authenticator. And for this, we're going to use Google. So we're going to open our phone, find or download Google Authenticator. And then once we log in to ATAC, you're going to see a QR code. We're going to open our Google Authenticator and we're going to scan the QR code. Once we've scanned the QR code, that's going to generate a one-time code that you're going to see on your mobile device or phone, and that you're going to enter on the computer to be able to access the download page in order to be able to download ATAC along with the UAS plugin. Then we're gonna scroll down and name the device and click submit. Once you click submit, you're going to be signed in successfully and be able to scroll up to products and then down to ATAC Civ. Click that. Now you'll be taken to the most up-to-date version of ATAC along with any associated plugins. We're gonna scroll down to the third menu and select download ATAC Civ product plugins. We're going to select the second ATAC Civ 5.1 and then you can choose plugins that you'd like to add but make sure you scroll all the way down, find the UAS plugin, make sure that's checked, and then scroll down and click submit. Then we're gonna scroll up to the top right corner and just check to make sure that our downloads are going through. Now we're gonna download DTED or Digital Terrain Elevation Data. We're gonna to go to Reddit in the address at the top of your screen in the red bar. And then we're gonna scroll down to downloading elevation data. We're gonna select option one, and then we're going to click download. Now we're gonna take our micro SD card out of the RC Pro, put that in an SD card reader, plug that into the computer, and then we're going to load ATAC, the UAS plugin, and the digital elevation terrain data onto the micro SD card. Now we're gonna to check to make sure our files are on our micro SD card. We're gonna exit out of these tabs. We're gonna eject our SD card reader. Then we're going to pull the micro SD card out and load that into the RC Pro. Now, before we do anything else, we're gonna to go to settings and then we're gonna scroll down to apps and notifications. And we're gonna scroll down to auto start application. We're gonna change that to none. This is going to allow you to choose between ATAC GO version 5 or Pilot 2 in order to operate the aircraft going forward. Now we're going to go back to the home screen. We're going to select files. Then we're going to scroll up to the top left hand corner and change the storage to our micro SD card. Once we've done that, we're going to scroll down, find our files. We're going to select that. Then we're going to double click the ATAC Civ release pack and the ATAC plugin UAS tool. In some systems, you may have to import the UAS tool along with the DTED data. I'm gonna show you that in the next step. You're going to let ATAC install and then click the icon to open the program. We're gonna scroll up to the top right and select these three lines to open the drop-down menu and then select import. 
then local SD, and then we're going to check DTED world zip and then click OK. Then we're going to click on the micro SD card icon, scroll down to the ATAC plugin UAS tool. We're going to check that box and then select OK. Once the UAS plugin is installed, you're going to see a menu pop up to give you options to download flight software that's going to replace Pilot 2 as the operating system for the aircraft. If you have an Enterprise Edition aircraft, you're going to want to download ATAC Go V5. If you have a Consumer Edition aircraft, you're going to want to download ATAC Go. In this case, we're going to be selecting ATAC Go V5 and then we're going to click OK. Once that software is installed, we're going to go back to the main screen, click on our three lines to open our drop down menu, scroll down to plugins. We're going to check ATAC Go is installed in current and the UAS tool is loaded in current. We're going to reopen our drop down menu, scroll down to settings, and then we're going to scroll down to tool preferences, specific tool preferences, and then we're going to scroll down until we see UAS tool preferences. We're going to select that. Default platform detection is DJI V5. Then we're going to scroll down until we see video broadcast preferences. Then we're going to scroll down to video broadcast destination and make sure UDP is selected. We're only going to use RTSP if we're pushing and streaming. And for this test, we're just going to use UDP. Then we're going to scroll up to the top left and go back to the UAS tool preferences. Then down to DJI V5 platform preferences. Then we're going to scroll down and check and make sure that both of the boxes associated with the M3T are checked. Then we're going to exit all the way back to the main screen. We're going to open our drop down menu and we're going to scroll down to the UAS tool. Once we click that, you're going to click open and then scroll over, log into your DJI account. And then for this, I'm just going to return to the UAS tool to check and make sure our systems are up and running. Now that we've performed our initial systems check, we're going to go back into ATAC Go V5, and this is how we're going to spin the props and initially launch the aircraft. To do that, we're going to take our control sticks and force them to the inner or outer corners, and then we're going to lift the aircraft off and click Return to UAS Tool. Then this is how we're going to control the aircraft for the duration of the flight. So that's it guys, if you follow those steps, you're going to be able to get ATAC along with the UAS plugin installed and up and running in your systems without any problems. Make sure you guys hit the like, hit the subscribe and stay tuned. In the next video, we're going to be showing you how to live stream video directly from the aircraft to anybody's cell phone on the ground that is tied to your secure server. You're going to be able to drop photographs, live video, icons, annotations, directly onto the map that your team can see in real time. I'm gonna link a video we did about a payload drop system below. So if you're looking to incorporate something like that into your systems, you can see how that works. Make sure you guys hit the like, hit the subscribe. As always, stay safe out there and we'll see you guys really soon.